possibility will be discussed. I am confident these deliberations will contribute to spurring industry leaders develop capabilities that can accelerate growth all over the world. We in India would like to see our industry compete successfully with the best in the world. Skilled manpower and availability of a competent cadre of management professionals will play a key role in this strategy. In order to achieve its national goal of inclusive growth, India also needs to develop capabilities of our social sector to ensure efficient delivery of services with equity and social justice. We want to ensure that the fruits of development reach each and every citizen of the country, especially those at the margins of society and the base of the pyramid. I hope this conference would provide a significant impetus in the field of human resources development within India. I call upon IFTDO and Indian Society for training and development to continue to play the role of a catalyst in the policy formulation and execution of human resource intervention to improve personal and organizational effectiveness. I wish the two organizations and all the distinguished delegates gathered here productive discretion and express the hope that they will continue to work to enhance the quality of life of people. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Jai <laughs> Hind. To the President of India for inaugurating this conference. Sir, your inaugural address was not a ceremonial speech. It was a knowledge-based, professional presentation, I would call it, really, which really sets the tone for our deliberations, which gives us the direction. And in different sessions, or two and a half days, we are going to uh, deliberate on that. Sir, this is the second time you have addressed the IFTD conference. You, you have a very long memory, I know that. And uh, this is the fourth time the conference is being organized. Then as Mr. State Commerce, you had addressed us. And I still remember that. On a personal note, I had the privilege of working with you. And the guidance and inspiration which I received from you really set my uh, working and professional life thereafter. And I was really pleasantly surprised when I received you, when you got down from the car and we shook hands, you called me by, by my first name. And that was more than 20 years I was working with you, sir. We are also grateful to Mr. Arun Mayra, a member of Planning Commission, who, as the chairman of the advisory board uh, for this conference, guided us throughout gave us the uh, advice and uh, direction in which we should be uh, organizing this conference. And now, we have again got words of wisdom from you, which we are going to use in our deliberations. My thanks are also due to all the IFTD members, my colleagues in the board, the ISTD, national president, past presidents, national president, present one, the council members, members of ISTD, all the distinguished guests, participants, who have joined us today to make this function a big success. My thanks are also due to all the speakers, chairpersons of the conference. We have more than 150 of them. Uh, thanks to Dr. Pritam Singh, the first. And we are also grateful to use uh, Dr. Pritam Singh for being the knowledge partner, the IMI being the knowledge partner and sponsoring the book which has just been released and which will be given to all the participants in the conference. Thanks also to the sponsors with, whose support is essential for any such big event. 
and then all the organizing committees, the members of the committees and the staff of ISTD and our event manager who have worked day and night really to make this a success. And lastly, thanks are due to media and the management of the Ashok Hotel who have helped us so much to really make sure that we are very well looked after here. Thank you.